he's Kinja, and I'm Light Matter, and today, hopefully, I'm beating this boss. <laughs> if... Oh. I'm guessing this is just small enough that I can't bring any animal friends. None of them. No one can help me now. At this point in the game, you're supposed to have mastered fighting bosses with the animal buddies. Excuse me? Well, luckily I never bothered doing that, so... You stand right next to BBB as he does that jump, and then inhale? Yeah, I can do... I can get both. However, I'm probably dead here, so... Rage mode activated. I was at one health. There is no way I could have done that. Honestly, there's no way you can beat King BBD in Dreamland 2 on the first try. No matter who you are. Speedrunners probably can. Not their first try. Well, if they're really good at all the Kirby games, surely something would have carried over to each one. Yeah, but not Dreamland 2. Rage Mode literally makes DVD, or Dreamland 2 DVD, the hardest DVD in existence. Combine that with being one of the healthiest DVDs as well. Rage Mode. Oh yeah, be careful about this attack, it tends to do this. And that might as well. Oh boy. Best case, just wait till rage mode ends. Yeah, that's kind of my plan now. Problem is, the most health he has, the longer, longer rage mode will last, and more often. Uh, uh, that was worth it. Rage Mode also has combos. Like, I have literally been infinited by an AI boss before. He's so low, he's so high health that rage mode lasts zero seconds. I'm going to grab a copy ability. Stone, perhaps? Stone's easy with this? I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure if King Dewey can inhale you while in rage mode with stone. Well, that's useless. Look at that, I was using actual strategy for a second there. Oh, boy. Thought I went straight into rage mode for a second there. <laughs> DVD threw his hammer call. Before falling asleep on the battlefield. And he's tired. Honestly, I'm the rude one here. He did destroy the rainbow bridges that connected the islands. Yeah, but attacking someone while they're asleep is just poor manners. Attacking someone in general is poor manners. Destroying means of transportation 
is a federal offense. And there's probably a second fight immediately after this, because this is a Kirby game. Well, kind of. Oh, I get a maximum tomato after this? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You want to try for stone now? No. I don't need stone. Just because you don't need something doesn't mean you should try it without it. Yay! Now, if you didn't collect all the rainbow drops, the credits would just start rolling here. It would list every enemy, oh boy, its name. And, um, Kind would look up in the sky and see a dark cloud, like the one that's above you right now, except with an evil eye. Oh no. I'm on two health. No, you're not. Oh, good. Yeah, despite its slim felicity, this is one of my favorite final is, boss themes. Is this evil gooey? Kinda. His name is Dark Matter. And, uh, this isn't even his true form. Every time he th throws one of those balls at you, you can use your sword to deflect it. It'll split it in three. Uh, and each projectile deals a full bar of health. Each swing of your sword deals less than a bar of health. But you don't want to be like right in front of him, or else that'll happen. Because if you game over, you got to restart from the DDD fight. True form emerges. Evil gooey. Kind of. Gooey is made of the same substance as dark matter. Which ironically I don't think is dark matter because you can see gooey and you can't see dark matter. Oh boy. Okay. The, at least this part's doable. There's no time limit on these, right? First one, correct. Second one is falling down. Yeah. Okay. I just stay like right next to him, and then whenever he does that other attack. But aside from that, just try to make sure you stay away from any attacks he could hit you with. Like go up. But then when he gets that, go down. So you might want to get all up in his face when he does that orb, so that all three balls hit him instead of just one, because he will take multiple damage from it. Dang it. Oh boy, I'm at. If I die, I'm game over. Yep. Which is really. Bad. One more time, I think. Okay! Okay. Dark matter, true form. Stay away from the middle. Now go on the very left side of the screen, or the right side. You want to hit those, uh, it's supposed to be purple things, but uh, cut right back at him. Oh no. Okay. Just gonna bounce around the screen for a bit. Avoid being hit by that, and then you could slice at him a little bit. He's gonna do the same thing here. He's going to get on one part of the thing, and I think he's going to do a charge, just avoid being hit by it. He's going to do it on all three parts of the screen, so get up. I'm up, I'm up. All right, now he's going to go right there, and he's going to shoot a laser. He's going to get right there, shoot two more lasers, and he's going to shoot two more lasers. Oh, no. No. 20 minutes later. Yeah! Okay, there we go. Might want to avoid touching him. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm playing it safe. He collapses at the center of the screen. Yep. Okay. There we go. So why did these star drops summon dark matter? They don't summon him. 
They are. Deity has been possessed by dark matter, and the rainbow drops are casting him out. Okay. Well, here we go. I've got two tries. And I think I remember his... Attacks? Yeah. gonna go to down this attempt is going horribly <laughs> what time is it 6:23. to go get dinner. Yeah, this will be one of those games that you just never beat. Day two. New day? Let's do this. Oh, you got all three hits this time. This time. And another one. Problem is, black and white, it's, kind of, it's getting a bit difficult to see. That's only because your blinds are in the world. Are not closed all the way. Yeah. There we go. That'll probably help. <laughs> I'll just add like a white glare on the screen and be like Kinja POV. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there we go. First half defeated. So, a uh, fun fact you should probably know. If you get behind him while he does this specific attack, yeah. then you can hit those uh, purple orbiters back at him and deal a lot of damage to him. In my defense, I have not fought that yet, this guy much. I want to have I gotten to phase two. Zoom. Oh no, or probably whatever those are called. Spinning attack. Spinning attack. Remember, if you can avoid getting hit while at one side, then you can just go in and slash him for the rest of them. Okay, now he beam attack. Beams. Now I don't remember what he does after this. Oh yeah, just repeats that cycle. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, I got him down to about half health. So remember, if you get behind him after he spawns the orbiters, then you can splash them back at him and deal more damage than any of your sword slashes ever will. Okay. Zero damage. Orbiters. Mm -hmm. Try to avoid hitting them yourself. Yeah. Been. If 
Triple Dash. So close. I'm down to two health. Okay. Oh no. Ah. Uh, damage is bliss and dark matter blade was almost a thing. I got cocky. You assumed. You know what they say about assuming. Yep. Spinny. Oh. Yeah, I guess bounce around then spinny. Yeah. Ah. It's all falling apart. Spinny. Mad dash. I want to get on the right side of the screen. Nah, yeah, I had more time to move on the left. Laser. So you know you can go in that area where you're not going to get hit by any of the lasers, right? Ah, yeah, that would be smart. Orbiters. Okay. Orbiter. Now what, laser, right? Ah. Move, move. No. no. Did you not see you were in his hitbox? Not until it was too late. What is the Japanese version of this game have the infinite lives code, but not the American version? So the Japanese version is harder so people actually need that crotch. Japanese version is exactly the same. Ah. This isn't Mario 2, this is Kirby 2. Look, I was running out a perfectly reasonable explanation. The reason f that it won't work on both of them is because the Japanese filing system is a bit different or whatever, so the code assigned to lives is different from this code's game's code assigned to lives, but... Okay, you get one damage allowance. Every single one. Bounce around. Spin. I mean, like, get real close to him, but get behind him. Ah. Uh. And then when you go above, he's gonna... Or if you stay below as he starts firing and then go above, then you can avoid his entire attack. So, no. 
was the farthest I've gotten in the attack cycle, but... So, when he goes to the, like, bottom of the screen to fire his lasers, go to the bottom of the screen. He can't hit you there, and then you can get some free shots off of it. Then when he goes to the top, do the same thing. Go to the top, get some free shots on him. Okay. Come in in front of his arm. I knew I was safe. Running out of time. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, never you hit Earth. Ah, great. You're not Earth, Pop Storm. The planet that sometimes shaped like Earth, sometimes shaped like a star. There we go. Okay. So, sheer luck. Here we go. Made him a nice here. Oh, what's doing it? Mm -hmm. There we go. I did that. I did part of it right. Spin. I'm doing well. Now is the easy laser to attack. Wait, in the way. And go all the way to the bottom of the screen. Orbiters! I think you destroyed them. <laughs> yep. Yeah! I did it! And the po explosion was so powerful it knocked Kirby unconscious. Kirby is now falling to his death from the sky. He'll be fine. See, the animals don't look concerned about this. King DDD is happy that Dark Matter is dead and Kirby is still unconscious. See, he's fine. He woke up, but that doesn't mean he's alive. He's fine. See, look, he's happy. Shimomura. Well, anyway. That was... I, I did it. Kirby's Dream Land 2. The first of three in the Dark Matter Trilogy. Oh, boy. So, with that being said, screw you for watching. Please be sure to dislike, unsubscribe, shoot that bell in the face, and I won't see you next time. Hello.